Man, you know where it's going, man. I told y'all, bro, the college football season is back, bro. And, hey, I got a college football reaction playlist that I'm finna go through. You feel me? What we got here is... The motherfucking Buckeyes, man. They talking about championship or a bust for the Old State Buckeyes, man. And the way I feel about it, man, if you an Old State fan, man, comment below, man. Like it up. Subscribe to the channel, man. Let me know what you think about your squad. You feel me? This is a college football channel. I am going to get a fan, but I feel like Old State, man, y'all a little bit overrated. You feel me? Now, I'm. that's just my honest opinion. See, now everybody, you feel me? You gotta take that lightly, you know what I'm saying? I'm with a grain of salt, you feel me? Because as a fan, I'm a Gator fan. I feel like all we need is certain things. Now, Old State, y'all been talented years and years and years and years. Like Justin Fields was a number one player y'all should have been able to win a championship with, but he was hurt due to the fact that um, y'all was just running him like a horse and slave. Like, you feel me? But. Let me just stop playing, man. I ain't even gonna go that deep, but for real, Old State, y'all got CJ Stroud last year. It was y'all first year with him, but y'all can see the talent y'all got with him, man. All the wideouts that y'all had, there's no way y'all should have lost a game in the Big Ten, and that's why I say y'all were ready to play. Hey, short vid, man. We just gonna react on this, man, because I seen it earlier and I just added it because I really want to see what these people think, man. This is ESPN, so you know they created a narrative. And they talk about Georgia. Well, that's a too, fair as well. I do think so. it's interesting they have a quarterback who finally answered the 50 question. 54% of win offensive the big game? production returning Certainly this season. Certainly would argue the national championship is that big game. It's a little, Georgia, by the way, trying to little, a little bit more than win back to back national titles since Alabama did it in 2011 and 2012. Now, speaking of national championships, you could argue that for the Natty. Ohio State Buckeyes, it is a national title or bust. Here's what we're looking at for the Buckeyes. They fell short of claiming a fifth straight Big Ten title. They got 73 73% 73 chance to win Big Ten championship. Gives Ohio State the best chance of any team to win their conference this season. FPI Top 10 also, FPI offense also under says Ryan Day. they have the number one offense in the country. Ohio State leading the FBS in points number per game one. and yards per game since Ryan Day took over as head coach. And CJ Stroud returning after leading all over players Bryce Young now. QBR. So that's, don't forget that that's over Bryce Young now. That's over Bryce Young. For entering the season as a top contender for the Heisman Trophy, here's his head coach speaking today on the expectations mm. for this Buckeyes team. Expectations. We hope that every year you're in that position at Ohio State. I think that's what makes you, you know, Ohio State unique. Um, it's probably you know, five that. to ten across the country that are that way, where every every year the expectation stays the same. <laughs> that being said, every year is different. You know, the, the people are different. And you hope you have enough coming back that gives you a chance to make that run. But in order to reach our goals, you know, we got to take care of business early on. And really, you can't start accomplishing those goals until November. He got a, 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 is, a lot of like guys Anthony. have gotten experience, so that's exciting. But you can't, I like that you can't face, start man. getting too far down the road with that, that stuff. It just up. doesn't work. you got to keep grinding every day and stay hungry. Andre, it's funny because uh, as camps open up across the country, you'll hear the word expectations all week long. We heard it Monday, like every single day. Over Listen, I don't know. There are very few Some places where the expectations are higher. Eight and one in the Big Ten. They, they won a Rose Bowl Ohio. against Isn't Utah. Fair. We play Utah. Earlier, we won. To say that ready. really this team falls you ready? short hope if they ready. don't win or contend Telling you now, for a national championship. Don't be lit. Lit. No, it's not. It's fair. It, I don't think it's unfair. That's when a fake trophy. State, like like the fake. last few years with Alabama, Georgia now is on that kind of on that platform. I think Ohio State's the same in the same caliber of uh, conversation, so to speak. They have recruited well. They've got one of the better quarterbacks coming back and one of the top receivers coming back. Uh, both will be Heisman Trophy candidates this year. Defensively, they've got eight eight starters coming back on that side of the hmm. ball. So. They are loaded. Eight starters coming back on offense for Ohio State. The coaching staff is intact. With a They've been out losing the game in the Big Ten. A lot of talent on that side, as I mentioned. I Ohio expect State them to be in the, in a playoff. Year, the way they recruit is going to be. I expect them to be in a playoff. Now Michigan, I don't know. It's just come down to Ohio State and Michigan. I guess that is the most anticipated game, huh? Because there's the only two teams that might have a shot on both sides. But Iowa, bro, start playing with them boys. Hawkeye Nation, man. Of an offense that on paper 
uh, should really perform lights out. Well, it's the offensive line. If they can't protect C.J. Stroud and run the football like Ohio State has in past years, then it, that's the thing that can trip them up. But there's enough experience on that side of the ball where they're going to they're going to move the football. They're going to stop teams defensively. Uh, injuries, those are always things that we don't account for early in the season where we're trying to uh, forecast what a team may be. Uh, if, if the wrong players at the wrong time get injured, then that's a thing that could actually be a hiccup. Injuries. That's it, man. Old State. Only thing they're saying that's going to hold them up, man, is injuries, man. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. And you got people right here, man. They talking about it as well.